I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters. You have to value yourself enough to understand that withdrawing yourself from someone's life is a punishment for them. You can never allow it to be a punishment for you. So no matter what happens in a relationship, if you and a woman end up not being together anymore, then you have to understand that it's her loss, not yours. She's losing something, not you. And the problem is the majority of men in this society just don't think that, don't accept that, don't believe that, don't want to live by that particular creed. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, bro, I had to show y'all that clip from Dr. B.O.A., man. Shout out to Dr. B.O.A., you know what I'm saying? Go follow him on YouTube and TikTok, bro. Listen, dog, that's why I always tell y'all, listen, we have to continue to work on ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We cannot continue to get in these relationships and pedestalize these women and validate these women and then just look at ourselves like we ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And giving them all our power, bro. It ain't supposed to be that way. It's not designed for that. You gotta know that you are the prize. You know, but constantly, like B. O. Dr. B. O. Uh, B. O. A. said, bro, you're gonna have so many men that just don't see it like this. And then they wonder why they go through the things that they go through in and out these relationships. In and out these relationships, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you will never have anything. Listen, bro, if you don't value yourself and know that you are the prize and you don't see that in you, then guess what? Nothing is going to ever work. You are always going to kick off a relationship or dating and, and, and step into these things, devaluing yourself and putting them above you. So immediately, bro, you going to start off wrong. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the times, bro, with these females, they just going to take advantage of your weakness, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't see it in you, then they ain't going to see it in you. But, but they could definitely spot that weakness and they going to take advantage of that. A lot of women will. You know what I'm saying? Or you just going to plain turn them off because they see how you treat you. They going to see that you low on confidence. You know what I'm saying? They going to see that you low on energy. They going to see that you low on masculinity. They're going to see that you weak for women. And that's a turn off to women, bro. You know what I'm saying? They want to they want a strong man who know who they are. When you stepping into that shit weak, when you stepping into that validating them, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's all you have. You don't look at yourself as the prize, bro. Now you become food to them. To a lot of women, not all of them. All some, most of them, you just gonna turn off. But the women that like to use men, you gonna be that. You gonna they gonna make a put. You gonna be the poster child for that. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be the poster child. They gonna see that weakness in you, and they gonna take advantage of it. And nine times out of ten, you was the one that chased them. You was the one that was in their DMs. You was the one that was seeking the love. And then wonder how, wonder why you got ran over. Wonder why she got you for all that money. Wonder why she don't love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? She don't love you because you don't love you. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, the energy you give yourself, that's what they going to give you too. They going to jump right in. He don't love himself. How the fuck I'm going to love him? Why I'm going to love them. Hell, I'm going to use them. That's what I'm going to do. A lot of these women, these modern day women, bro, they going to eat you up. They gonna eat you up, but they not gonna eat up a strong man that know his value, that know he's the prize, that works on himself and know what they bring to the table and got their own table, their own kingdom, bro. They can't mess with you. When you in that, they can't mess with you, bro. So which side would you rather be on? Would you rather be on the weak for vagina, weak for flesh side? That's always validating. That's low on confidence, low on everything. So always, you got to always pedestalize the women and always need women. In order to feel whole, you need women to feel whole. You know what I'm saying? It's dudes that need women to feel whole. They're not themselves unless they have a woman, bro. So you want to be on that side. You know, rather than be on the real masculine side, the real man side, that know his value that's going to be okay with or without a woman because he still value himself and still going to live his life because he know he's the prize. He know how much energy he put into himself. He know how much time he put in on his purpose. So guess what? He worked hard 
to get to where he at. He has his own kingdom. He has his own table. So guess what? He going to have his pickings of the litter. So whoever it is that he want, they going to have to be interviewed. You know what I'm saying? Because he value everything that he built. So no woman going to be able to just come to his table with nothing. You know what I'm saying? She, she cannot come with no value. She cannot come with just her flesh. When it comes to the real man side, when it comes to the masculine side, when it comes to the alpha side, you know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, you got to pick a side, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it starts with you knowing who you are. It starts with you doing what it takes to get to the next level. That's where it started. at. Because when you know you didn't work hard for something, you're not going to let no woman just come dismantle that. You're not going to be smitten by no type of ass or titties. You're not going to get you're not going to get lost in that because you you know already. You know what you have. You know what you bring. So you won't be tricked. You won't be fooled. A lot of the guys that's low on everything and, and, and don't have any confidence and need the women. They the ones that don't know. They don't have no idea because they never focused on themselves. So nine times out of ten, they haven't put in the work that the masculine man that knows he the prize has. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't even put in the work because they always had to chase women. They always was in a relationship. They always needed women. They never knew who they were. Or who they, were. they never found out who they were. They never valued themselves or put in enough work to realize that. They never had any time alone to figure themselves out. So when you never had a long time to figure yourself out, you always had to be involved in with a woman, then guess what? Nine times out of 10, bro, you ain't gonna have your shit together. And it's a lot of guys out there that's always put the women before them. They never had their shit together. Or they always getting taken. They always getting their money taken. They getting hit for child support. They getting hit for alimony because they always had to be with somebody, always had to be married. And, and guess what? They was reckless with their energy. They was never on semen retention. They was ever, never on no fat. You know what I'm saying? Instead, they watch pornography and they lived in this fantasy world and they will go out there and seek that. That's why it was important for us to step away from the porn. That's why it was important for us to start no fat, start semen retention, learn how to control ourselves because those guys can't control themselves. So guess what? As soon as they see a woman, it's going to be baby, 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 baby. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be the ones barking. They're going to be the ones slobbing with their tongue out. And they're the ones that's low on energy. They're the ones that shit ain't together. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all they put their energy into is relationships, marriages, and chasing women. Never themselves. Never themselves. Like they never put energy into themselves. So they don't know who they are. And then they expect these women to fulfill that. These women supposed to figure out who they are. Like, these women, they, bruh, listen, dog, they ain't trying to see that. That's not attractive to them. Like I said, a lot of those weak dudes, they become food. Them beta male blue pill guys, they become food. They become food because these women can see through that and they play off of that. You know what I'm saying? Or... Like I said, they just don't, you know, the, 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 the other women that don't want no parts of it, bro, they just leave them alone because they not attracted to men like that. They attracted to the ones that value themselves and, and know their energy, know who they are. You know what I'm saying? And they very careful. They very, we very careful with our energy over here. You know what I'm saying? When you know that you bring something, bro, you're not going to let nothing just interfere with that. So you got to know that, listen, bro, when you done so much work, when you didn't jump on these journeys, did whatever it took to get to the next level, did whatever it took to become your best self, guess what, bro? That, listen, dog, then you should know that you are the prize. You know what I'm saying? You have to know this. Other people, they ain't going to see it that way. That's on them. They going to continue to go in this vicious cycle of getting used and abused. You know what I'm saying? Always get, always going through it with women, bro. Y'all ever knew somebody like that? Like they always going through it with women, no matter what relationship they get in. It could be a marriage. They could just have a girlfriend, whatever. They could just be dating or some dating shit. It's always some drama with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to stay that way until they change their way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Until they start to value themselves and start putting energy into themselves instead of chasing women. 
You know what I'm saying? Instead of validating all the time, instead of jumping in these DMs and not on business, not on their purpose, they ain't never on their purpose, bro. Or they just one of them suckers that just put in all of this work just to get taken. You know what I'm saying? You, it's a lot of suckers out there too that's out in the business world. They got their shit together. They got everything together. There's guys like that too. You know what I'm saying? But they still don't see the value in themselves. They put all their energy into getting the money, into taking care of their household, into getting all of these superficial things. They have everything lined up. But until you have yourself lined up, none of those things going to matter. None of it will matter. The house, the cars, the clothes, none of that shit will matter if you yourself ain't together. If you yourself don't have no energy. If you yourself don't value yourself. You will never be together. You will never have the full package. And that's what you want out here. You want to have the full package. You know what I'm saying? You want to be full stack out here. Not just have energy in, in one thing, but then not, nothing in the other parts. You know what I'm saying? So you will never fulfill, fulfill your true self, your, full, your, your true purpose, bro. You know what I'm saying? You will never be in your full masculinity like that, bro. So work on everything. That's why it's important. You don't want to be on that side. You always going to be in the drama on that side, bro. You ain't going to never find your queen on that side, bro. People ain't going to never respect you on that side, bro. So do what needs to be done, man. Look in that mirror and tell yourself that you are the prize. But you got to be putting in the work. You got to earn that within yourself. Earn that. Do what it takes to get that confidence up, that masculinity up, that vile you up. You know what I'm saying? By staying on your grind and not chasing these women, man. You ain't got time for that. You working on you right now. You valuing you right now. You know what I'm saying? You ain't devaluing you, but putting value in the flesh. Value in them. You know what I'm saying? Big up in them. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. We ain't on that. So remember that, man. Moving forward, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the CNT. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. Yes. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. Uh -huh. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. Right. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters.